Dozens of health code violations temporarily closed down a popular wine bar in downtown KC. KCTV 5's Abigail James investigates why the health department felt it was necessary to shut the Tannen wine bar down. A total of 20 critical violations and five non-critical violations closed down this popular wine bar. But I was here today as a health inspector walked out and cleared them to open. Several lunchgoers walked up to the door of Tannen Wine Bar and Kitchen on Friday afternoon just to find out it was closed. It's honestly frustrating. I was looking forward to lunch. These two signs greeted customers, one from the restaurant itself, the other from the health department stating the business was shut down. It's super shocking to me because that's that's not the restaurant I know and love. This past June, Tannen Wine Bar was voted as one of America's 100 best wine restaurants of 2019 by Wine Enthusiast magazine. Other accolades fill the restaurant window. So why was this award-winning restaurant shut down? According to the health department, it's because the restaurant got hit with dozens of violations. We had a, an inspection with the health department on Wednesday, and unfortunately we've had to close the wine bar Wednesday evening. The violations included citations for issues such as black buildup on the ice machine, undercooked meat, employees who didn't know the proper temperature to cook meat, food left in the cooler beyond seven days, and employees handling food with their bare hands. For General Manager Barry Tunnel, the harsh reality of being closed down was a wake up call. We've taken a lot of steps over the last couple of days to address uh, address these issues and more. He says corrections have been made and contractors were also brought in to fix issues. The health department cleared the restaurant to open by early Friday evening. Anytime that we have to turn people away is uh, is very difficult for us and, and uh, difficult for our staff as well. As for this customer, he says violations won't keep him from coming back. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I would definitely come back. I think anyone can have an off day and when they reopen, I'll be one of the first people back. Abigail James, KCTV 5 News.